Recently, the South American nation of Venezuela has been embroiled in a conflict that spilled onto the streets. But how did the nation get to this point? No, before you go! 1. It's partly the OPEC's fault. Up until recently, Venezuela wasn't doing too bad as a member of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, the OPEC. Then OPEC produced too much oil and gas and the prices plummeted internationally. Uh oh! 2. Venezuela needs oil to survive. He may be one heck of an oppressive socialist dictator, but Nicolás Maduro has no clue how to diversify an economy. And now that the oil cash is slowly drying up, the economy of Venezuela is tanking something fierce. 3. Venezuela's decline by the numbers Venezuela's gross domestic product has dropped by one third. Even worse, the citizens are seeing the brunt of the hardship, being forced to endure a thousand percent inflation. 4. Basic goods have gone missing. It's increasingly difficult to import goods into the country. After all, if your currency is worthless, you have to spend way more money to get way less stuff. As a result, products like food, medicine and other basics have essentially vanished from store shelves. 5. The average Venezuelan is now both hungry and poor. Some measurements put the number of poverty-stricken Venezuelan citizens in excess of 70%. Fortunately for Maduro, and unfortunately for Venezuela's people, the country's Supreme Court has overturned every legislative attempt by the opposition to set things right. 6. An attempt to take down Maduro in 2016, the opposition used its advantage in the National Assembly to try and institute a recall election aimed at ousting President Nicolás Maduro. Maduro had his loyal judiciary simply cancel the petition. 7. Shutting down the National Assembly the Maduro Loyal Supreme Court nullified the National Assembly and assumed all legislative powers within the country. 8. The thin veneer of democracy. Nearly two years of legislative efforts have resulted in the Venezuelan people seeing only decline in spite of every attempt to play by the rules. All of a sudden, Nicolás Maduro is looking more and more like a dictator. Oh. 9. The problem with the army. While Maduro's Supreme Court works to suppress the opposition, Venezuela's armed forces have remained largely unmoved. That's because a big portion of the army is corrupt and another is loyal to Maduro. 10. Taking to the streets the opposition have pledged to protest peacefully until they can get their message across. The authorities in Venezuela attack the protesters, although some protesters remain persistent in their desire to loudly and peacefully protest their government. Which of these facts surprise you the most? Comment below.